It's time. Welcome to the end of Legends of Mana. We're gonna be taking our making our way to the Tree of Mana. And finishing the final quest in the game. Well I guess it's not the final quest of the game, there is at least half of them that I didn't even hit, but it's incredibly difficult to 100% the game unless you know what you're doing and are intending to do that. I'm not intending to do either. I beat the game, something I wanted to do since I was a kid, and we're doing it now. This counts. The Legend of Mana. And as is my standard in RPGs. Cool. Oh. Alright. Anyway, I'll give a shout out to what I used to help beat the game because. I most certainly did not do this one blind. Namely, I went to the fan site legendofmana.info, used their walkthrough to kind of give me an idea what to do in quests I got stuck with, but also about the halfway point, I pretty much used their speedrun guide through the rest of the way. Oh. And we got... Magical meat! The best kind of meat! Okay, so, so it's pretty much just a straight path. A nice change of pace! Still have enemies. Eh, can't, can't win them all. Does this take me up another way? It does. Oh. Oh, that goes that way. Okay. Oh, that means I have to fight you again. And you know what? I can appreciate this. Leave me alone! I could charge through this, but let's enjoy it. Wait a minute. Okay, I did something wrong here. No. No. There we are. Thanks for avoiding the experience so I could get it. This is a tough dragon. I could have brought another person to help me out, but... This is a quest I must conquer alone, me and my rabbi. Thanks for the healing claw. Might as well see if that's useful.
You know, I am curious. Why are we here? Is the brave... First uppercut jump. So they're pretty much identical except Brave Play gives mm, a little bit extra. Might as well, I'm a Brave Boy! Now let's double check our weapons and armor at the very end of the game. So the guy should have been doing from the very beginning. Cause it made those harbor harbor that's from like the beginning. I never improved on that really. But you know what? Doesn't it doesn't matter what I have in armor when I'm busy killing birds. Such as the way of the wizard. You know, you're allowed to get experience rare, but I'm not hogging it. But I guess I'm the one that needs it in the end anyway. Alright. More stuff that I never bothered to use ever. Now I'm sure this stuff would be very valuable, especially in a New Game Plus setting where you have to get a little more creative, but I am what I am. Oh hi little eye! Of course, by plowing through the quickest route in some of those later ones, I'm sure I missed a lot of chests, some of which may have had useful stuff. But probably not. Kill the bird! Eat up, Rabbit. I am a generous owner. And here we are at the gate. The gate of manor. We begin by killing more flying things and, ironically, attacking trees. Yay, more crafting stuff that we will have no use for at all. Knockout dust, that sounds cool. Now, the dragon. I'm probably gonna get another level up at this rate. Stop it! Oh, 
This is my new least favorite enemy. Chocolate. I like chocolate. Now's the time. And you could grind for days on those guys. Maybe we should have close am I to yet another level up. Why not? One more time! The one ounce of grinding I will do for this game. Or not. Never mind. Stuff. Kill the four mini bosses, I guess. I'm the light, I am the darkness. Oh, you love. Okay. Hey, Hathaway, we found out the answer. <laughs> So what do we is the final boss gonna be like Dark Link or well Dark Hero? Cause that's gonna be kinda anticlimactic. Well, that sucked. Hey, that, uh, that took a lot of health off. So it doesn't hit often, but when it does... I'm guessing that's like a time limit, I gotta kill him before it... You know, whatever. God. Come on, Ramp, I hold him off. You do have to kill him, but okay, that failed miserably. Yeah. 
How in the heck did I evade that? I mean, I'm not complaining, but wow. If this hits, this is it. Oh boy, oh boy. Perfect! The rabbi got just enough help where I could have done this. You have served as a very distraction. Or is there gonna be a second form? I've been fooled by RPGs in the past. We did it! And now the spirit is giving us a some fruit from Yoshi's story. Thanks, mysterious cloud. Oh, it's a sprouting! Hey, it all comes together. Hi, Miss Sprouting. Yes, you are. And so the mana tree was healed. Take you? What could that mean? Why? Does that mean all the sproutlings are being brought in? It is. It's time to come to the mana tree and restore it to its former glory. Including from areas I was not at at all. You know, there are parts of this game that I was not a fan of growing up and not a fan of now. The Oregon Animation was not one of those. Even in 27, this is still awesome. And I don't say that sarcastically if I picked up a Steam game knowing it was going to be, uh, Two and a half D RPG, and it looked like this. I'd be more than happy with it. Mm. 
Where are you going, Cactus? You're not a Sproutling. Or is he? No. The plants are all connected at our roots. We might look like separate beings, but we are one plant. Whatever happened to Niccolo? I never finished that quest line either. We don't have souls, so we stay. Oh. I also like counting stars. There's gotta be a lot. You know what? There are hundreds. Also, well, they're all gone. They all went back to the mana tree. That's sad. Did we move back in or did he just take over our house? I guess we'll never know. Now credits roll! The tree was voiced by me! <laughs> oh yeah, that was a pretty good director, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the blasted turtle fell over again. What if you duct tape two turtles together? That would be stupid. Art director and graphic design chief, Koji Suda, you are awesome. I like the battles in this game. I'm I, I will give that props as well. Action RPGs are you you get to see is enough of them. Even if you know it'll look, there's not that much. The music also amazing. Of course, not everything was amazing in this game, but the parts that they did right, they did right. <laughs> Like, the story mode or whatever. Kind of underwhelming. I don't really feel like I accomplished much. I, did I save the world? Maybe? Maybe not? Like, oh, the story stuff. Eh. Oh, I'll give it an eh. <laughs> Although I... The map system is cool once you figure out how it works. If you go in blind and you don't know, uh, it's frustrating. Monsters are pretty cool. I like that they're actually ginormous, so it does feel like every boss fight needs something, even if only because of that. I don't know if the pet monsters are good or not, because I only have the rare bite. <laughs> Gilbert still hard. <laughs> There's a few of these places I know I didn't actually make it to. I forgot what the cat detective's name was. Oh well, it wasn't that important. Yeah, 
Yeah, at least Buzz better now. See, the best thing we could have done was just leave them alone in the house while we saved the world on our own. And now, we're speedrunning the credits apparently! Wow, it's flying! <laughs> okay, probably the game was. Uh, edge of Snowball up there, let's move, 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 come on! Yo, Wizard says we gotta keep this under 30 minutes, let's move, come on! Here we got, uh, yeah, the, um, uh... So many M names! And T names, I can't keep up! Yoko Shimamura and the rest, and uh, yeah. Special thanks to all of these people. And that was it. And that is how you speed run credits. <laughs> Now, the legend of mana. Oh, but it is not over yet. We did it! I did it all by myself with no help from any guides. <laughs> yeah, nobody believed that for a second, especially because I outright admitted I used plenty on this. But anywho, the legend of the tree of mana. And now, we save the game. And I will shortly. If you load the game, you end with. You get New Game Plus. And as you see here, you get to pick a brand new area. Something with a little less water so you can actually do everything properly. And as we conclude the Legend of Mana, we will go home one more time. We heard it before. <laughs> Fast forward through this. We've all... I was about to say, we not only have we heard the story, but we were the story. As you see here, the stuff that you finished and remembered to tell the cactus about is saved. But the final thing I shall show off while we are here... is the Forbidden Tomb. It will ask you three questions. If you wish to live in peace, then the game stays as normal. But if you say no, 
If you want a nightmare, clicking yes gives you nightmare mode where the difficulty is that much harder. Wish to have a future? Well, let's try that again. Wish to live in peace? Want a nightmare? No. Wish to have a future? No. If you click that, you get no future mode where everything is insanely difficult. If you want to know more about that, that's something to give a shot on your own. But, this is going to be it for me. Absolutely I would recommend this. I feel like I love this a lot more now than I did as a kid. I didn't really appreciate it back then, but I think it's better now. It's not often you can say that with early RPGs. So this will be it for me. And I shall see you at the next game. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you. Please don't ignore me. Oh, fine. Uh, you know, I was going to make a cool exit, like, just going to the next. I was going to make a cool exit. I, you know, I could still do that. Let's try that again. Click, click. <laughs> Even though I'm not cutting this out. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next game.